My second project is this cute little can that I made. Um, it's a pencil can. And I used several of the tildes. Um, I'll just turn it so that y'all can get an idea of the can. And so <clears throat> this here tilde is uh, the Cancer tilde from the Zodiac um, collection. And I used several doohickeys, which, so this doohickey die right here is heart swirl and um, the little flowers are Hellsboro, I think that's it, Hellsboro's. Um, that's these, and then I use wild orchid, wild orchid flowers for the bottom here. <clears throat> and some old rickrack and seam binding that I had in my stash that I believe actually came from my grandma. <laughs> and um, then I used some other doohickeys. This one right here is actually um, a friend gifted it to me and it was white like this. So I used the Tim Holtz Distress Inks very carefully and I changed their color on the the ivory, the ivy <laughs> part and then I just added the flowers and then on this side because you can kind of see over here I found another flower I think it was from a, one of the other volume, doohickey volumes. Right now I can't remember which one it was from. Maybe the garden theme. And I just added the other petals here. And it didn't matter if it had the little bumps in it or not, the holes, because it's going to be covered up. So I didn't really, that wasn't really a big deal to me. And I just added the flowers on top of that area and then again more of the wild orchid crafts and this is Tilda with Ladybug from the Chasing Butterflies and <clears throat> this cute little bird is also Magnolia they're the little summer birds and they're the newer birds I think they're so cute so like they're very shabby um, vintage looking versus the other ones that she had at the very beginning of her collections. They're, the other ones are super cute too. If you can find those, um, they're very hard to find. But um, these are really cute too. So <clears throat> I used here another one of those doohickey dies, again with the swirl hearts. Um, and then I used the bench and Tilda, ooh, where is she from? I think she's from Lazy Summer Days from the 2009 collection. And then again, my friend, the same friend who gifted me this doohickey die, um, the cutouts, she also gifted me these cute little cut strawberries. And I just um, went ahead and added some... I added frontage on here to make it kind of look like, you know, how um, you have the chocolate covered strawberries. So I wanted to kind of give it like a little bit of a um, chocolatey look. Um, and then it says, it's a sweet thing. And I also added my flower and a little piece of the uh, swirl heart. And inside here, this is Olivia's sweet shot paper that I found at um, Hobby Lobby. And it has strawberries all around it. Now, I hadn't decided yet if I wanted to glue them together or not. Most of the time I do, but yeah. And then inside, I also wrapped it. And then I put the lid on the inside because I have found when, when I use these little canisters, these canisters are the, uh, the snacks that I get for my daughter. Um, she gets like those um, wagon wheels from Gerber. And that's this particular canister and if I put scissors in here it will sometimes puncture a small little little hole in the bottom bottom of the tin 
So what I did was I put the, I cut down the lid and I put it inside. So hopefully that'll provide a little bit more cushion when you put in, you know, scissors or something really pointed, you know, like a letter opener or something. So that's what I did. And then I used um, Tim Holtz Distress Stain, the same that I used on my sign, and I kind of did it on the edges of the top of this piece. So, but yep, there they are. And I did all of them in Copics on this particular. Um, I'm not sure. I probably did the little birds in a different media, but um, yeah, because I don't think those are Copics. I think that's um, probably Distressed Paint. I was using, um, like using them from another project that I had found that I didn't use them on. So, but anyway, there it is. That's this project that I wanted to share with you. And um, I got two more other projects, really simple little projects that I did for a um, little Valentine's, you know, thing for my daughter to give to her teachers. I made these cute little bookmarks, they're corner bookmarks. And um, I used one of the newer Tildas from, I think, the Swarovski collection. And she's sitting on the chair. So it looks kind of like a little stool, but that's what she's sitting on. And um, I used the old Swedish lace to add here. I didn't do a whole bunch. I embossed the background of the paper on this particular one and that was about all I did so I did use the little book die from one of the doohickey volumes and my daughter already wrote a little message inside of it so and then oh yeah uh, the embossing is I believe a six lits embossing folder and it's really sweet, little flowers and everything. I thought that was really cute. So they're just little corner bookmarks. I have another one that I made. So that's this one. And then this is my next one. Oh, I colored, I forgot. I also colored her in Copics. This particular teacher, I believe, likes purple from what I've been told. So <laughs> that's why I did purple for her and her hair is also blonde so my daughter's hair is very blonde so that's why we did that one the next one is Cinderella I found out that her other teacher she likes really um, uh, yellows and um, so we went ahead and did Cinderella for hers and since this is Valentine's I kind of put the little heart this was my second one I made as you can tell, this is the first, this is the second. I kind of tried to add a little bit more to it. But then I was like, oh, I don't want to get too much because it is a bookmark. And I don't want it to be too bulky, bulky inside of a book because then it won't sit properly. So I just added the hearts up there. And then I kind of stick with Snow White's colors, the red, the yellow, and the blue that she has in her, her little dress. I also colored her with Copics, but on this particular Copic coloring on her skin, I used a different set of combinations. Um, usually, um, I find that when I'm watching other videos, um, I think it's Heather, she also has our YouTube channel, um, and she does a lot of uh, coloring with Copics and things. Um, she uses like E11, E21. Uh, some of those colors. Well, this particular one, I used a little bit of a different set of skin tones from this set of skin tones. And it seemed like the, I mean, they're pretty close to the same. This one might be just a little bit lighter in color from the regular colors, but I mean, they're still about the same. Snow White is supposed to be really, really pale. That's why I kind of went with the lighter skin tones. And um, she has that black hair. Ironically, Penelope's teacher has black hair too. So, you know, I mean, it just works out. And so I hope she, I hope these teachers enjoy their little corner bookmarks. And 
they can actually use them. So this one, I haven't finished the back of this one yet, but um, and it's just, they just simply slide onto the corners. This page is, these book pages are really ripped up and everything on the edging. So, but it just slips on the edge of the corner of the book. And when you close them, this is not too bad. I mean, you can still see where your bookmark is, so that's that's not too bad. And then this one is pretty plain. So, but that's how it would it would look in a book. Not bad, if you ask me. So anyway, yep, that's my projects I've been doing. Sorry, it's been taking me so long to get these videos done. I hope that you have a great rest rest of the weekend or a week whatever time you visit me at this time on this video so please come back or subscribe i'm trying to get videos done as often as possible all right thank you have a great one like always we'll see you again all right bye bye